this <gasps> Oh my god. What's up y'all? I'm here with another action figure. And I told you guys in the last video that I'll keep my eye out for an Iron Man figure. And guys, I finally got one. This is the Iron Man Infinity Saga Iron Man Mark III action figure. I'm really excited. I haven't gotten an Iron Man figure in a really long time, but well, at least a good one. So yeah, I'm really excited. So let's take a look at the packaging. So guys, right here, obviously a big window display for the character and all his accessories, which look really good. This is the side of the box. I have the Avengers over here. The back is the Iron Man like movie card thing. I don't know what to call that. I guess poster. And then here's a read up on the figure thing. So y'all can pause that if you want to. And then the side is the same thing. And then here's the top. But yeah, guys, I think this thing looks really cool, especially for an Iron Man figure. It looks like really like futuristic and stuff. So yeah, let's open it up. Just busted her out of the packaging. So far, guys, I really like this figure. There are some paint issues with it, but I mean, I can overlook that because it's just overall it looks really good and they're really small. So if you're really nitpicky like that, that might bother you. But I guess on my copy, I just got a little unlucky and yeah, some paint issues, but it doesn't bug me that much. I mean, for the most part, y'all can't even see it on the camera. So yeah, um, he did come with a lot of accessories. So let's take a look at the accessories and then we'll take a closer look at the figure. All right, guys, and here's everything that the figure comes with comes with two head sculpts, two repulsor blast hands, two fisted hands, this uh like wrist guard like shield kind of thing. This is when Obadiah was uh shooting at Tony and then he split it open to block the uh the little bullets. And then this is really cool too. I really like this. This is the little wrist rockets that he used to shoot at the tank. So that's pretty cool. I'm definitely going to have my figure displayed with this. And uh, it's a little it's a little bent in, but I'm going to heat it up and get it all nice and straight. It still looks really good regardless. And then this is if you just want like the nice concealed, consolidated look. You put that on the figure and it looks really cool. So yeah, it has a little bit of detail in there too. Okay, so this is a figure with the fisted hand and the repulsor blast hand. And then let's get a closer look at this Tony Stark head. I think this looks really cool. It looks just like Robert Downey Jr. to me. Great detail. Even the, the top of the faceplate looks really good. So, yeah, really pleased with that. And then I'm going to show off how you just poured in the... Uh, this is the little consolidated like look to it. Where everything is compact and not deployed. So, you just there's a little port right here. And you just poured it in right there. Goes in there nice and sleek. It's a little bit of a seam, but I mean, that really doesn't bug me at all. I don't care because I think this is a really cool feature. And then this is the wrist guard kind of thing where it deploys out. I think it goes in like this. And that is also a really cool look. I really like that too. You can get him like blocking and stuff, you know. Like, oh, so I think that's pretty cool. And then the last one is the wrist rockets. Which I think is my favorite, honestly. Because you don't really see that on a, like a Marvel Legends Iron Man figure, you know? I think that is really cool. You know, you can get him looking off to the side like that. He does have the uh, Repulsor Blast hand for this side too. But I put the Fisted hand on to like show off these accessories. And then he also has a Fisted hand for this side. And then here's what he looks like with the Iron Man helmet on. Now it's kind of strange because this helmet doesn't like really like snap on it just kind of sits on top so i'm gonna get it on here real quick and it's on there but it doesn't make a pop like the other head sculpt does but i mean that looks really good i think that looks really cool looks just like the movie very mean looking iron man so yeah very cool accessories so now that we took a look at the accessories i think it's time to just you know Really look at this figure and admire like all the little details and stuff and unfortunately some of the paint defects but it doesn't bother me too much because they're really small and you can't really see them so I mean obviously we just talked about the head sculpt but still man I think that looks really cool 
the arc reactor there. You even got the little like lock on pins that uh, lock in the movie that come up here and then they lock up there. Some more pins right there. Nice meaty shoulders. Nice meaty traps and shoulder pads. Now these shoulder pads I heard are like on a ring or something right there. So that's really cool. So you can move it all the way around without it like getting broke, messed up or anything. Biceps look really cool. Nice gold paint work. Pulsar blast hands look really cool. Now again, I did wish they added a port there and gave us like some effects. But I mean, they already gave us some really cool uh, accessories. So not too disappointed with that. And uh, for some reason, this is like strangely loose for some reason. I don't know why, but it's not that big of a deal. But the midsection looks really good. Looks really good. Legs look great. Now, I wish it did have like some silver on it, but that's just the movie design, I think. But wow, look, you even got those little dots right there. That is movie accurate. Really cool, nice meaty legs. And this is a cool spinal cord thing. I think that's awesome. Nice detail there. Now, here's where some of the paint chipping right there right there and it kind of gets sloppy right here and right here oh more so right here and then on this bicep there's a there's a splotch right there and then there's a splotch somewhere else um it was oh yeah it was right here it got a little scuffed up now it came like this i did not do that but i mean it's all right it's an iron man figure you know it's supposed to get a little scratched up and shit but, I mean, other than that, I think this looks really good. The sculpt is really great. I would give it, like, 10 out of 10, honestly. Because the legs and the arms and the chest look very proportioned. I really like this armor because it looks really meaty and stuff. You know, like, really big, kind of a football player look, almost. I don't know. But, I mean, if you look at more of the recent suits, like the Mark 47 or, like, Mark 46, I think... They, they have more of like this sleeker look and I think it's because of that nanotechnology. But yeah. All right, it's time to rate the articulation. And it is a Marvel Legends, so it's gonna have really good articulation. And for an Iron Man pig figure, I think it's really great. So the head can look up a decent amount so you can get him into good flying poses. And he does have this like ab thing or this crunch right here so you can get him up looking a little more. And then it can move down all the way, really nice. Side to side little bit of a pivot pivot oh that's actually a lot of pivot actually yeah and then the shoulders can move out can move forward and it's on like more of this like ratchet joint and then down and then he does have a bicep swivel double jointed elbows and then the wrists aren't hinged at all they're kind of just locked into place and then he has this crunch right here then he can crunch back really far and then which is what this is really cool i've never had a figure like this he has like these drop down hips. I don't know if you can see that, but they can drop down and allow him to kick out farther. So that's really cool. And then he has a swivel, a thigh swivel right here. And then nice, really nice double jointed knees right there. I really like that. That's gonna allow for some great posability. And then the ankles can move down a little bit up and then side to side and great ankle pivot. Actually, it's yeah, that is actually really good ankle pivot. Yeah. All right, guys. So I think the articulation is definitely an 8 out of 10. I did wish he can look up a little bit. And I did wish they gave him like a little waist swivel. And then I would say the paint work is, uh, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Because there's like a lot of like paint defects. And I wish they added a little bit of silver or something. Maybe like a little bit of silver dry brushing. Um, the sculpt is a 10 out of 10. I think it looks really big and buff and meaty. And I think for the Mark III, that's just, you know, perfect for it. Um, but yeah, so I think this is a really cool figure. If you guys are definitely thinking about getting it, get it. Because it's for a good price too. So yeah. And then here he is with Doctor Strange. Again, I know this isn't the right suit he was in, but it doesn't look bad. I like it. And then this is him with the PS4 Miles Morales Spider-Man. And I think that looks pretty cool too. I mean, I wouldn't mind displaying them like that. And also, by the way, I would do reviews on these figures. But 
all of those figures except for the Captain America figures are my friends. So, yeah. All right, guys, but that's it for this review. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. Um, overall, I think this is a really cool figure. Do not regret buying it. If you're thinking about getting it, I would highly recommend it because it's not that expensive either. So, yeah, I hope you liked it. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later.